welcome back to my channel this is Danae Danny and I'm Danny Willis and today I'm going to do a workout video I know it's been a while since I posted one so let's go ahead and get into this workout the goal of this workout was to do a total body workout but I ended up doing majority of legs so yeah um, I'm starting off with squats here. I like to do the major lifts first and then work my way down to like accessory lifts. So um, you want to make sure you keep your chest up, shoulders back, your head is looking forward. Um, make sure you're driving your hips back. You want to push your hips back as far as you can as if you're sitting down into a chair. Make sure your knees are behind your toes and you want to have that weight um distributed in the middle of your feet so you should have it evenly distributed in the middle of your feet here um, if you find yourself rocking onto your toes whenever you go down into that squat you might want to focus on maybe pushing um all that weight into your heels at first and then trying to evenly balance it um in between your feet here um so yeah Okay, so I'm doing something a little bit different from my usual. I'm going to keep the weights light and increase my reps here. I'm trying to focus on my endurance because I've noticed whenever I work out, I have to take a break in between my reps. So I'll get halfway through my reps and then have to take a break and then have to finish off my set. So I want to focus on that a little bit more. So that's why I'm keeping the weights pretty light. I'm going to about like maybe 95 or 100 with the weights here. Um, and I'm keeping the reps the same. So I was either doing 10 to 12 reps for three to four sets. And I usually do like a... A, a rep scheme so it will start off with like 12 reps and then i'll go down to 10 8 6 all the way down to four um so this is just me trying to work on my endurance trying to focus on my breathing here it um this is my like second or third week back in the gym i took a really long break from the gym and now I'm just getting back into it. So maybe that's why I'm like having that break in between my reps. Um, so yeah, I'm just trying to focus on my endurance and breathing here. Okay, so for this next exercise, you're gonna have to grab a bench and all you want to do is sit down on the bench here and uh, stand up. This is kind of like a modified uh, pistol squat so if you want to, you can just do it with your body weight or if you want to add more resistance, you can hold on to a dumbbell. And all you want to focus on is bringing all that weight into one leg and uh, really avoid rocking your body to help yourself get up. And that other leg should just be dead weight. So just take your time here. I did this for three sets of 12. This is going to work your quads and a little bit of your glutes here. Um, so yeah. Moving on to the next exercise. So I'm doing deadlifts here. Um, deadlift is a compound movement, it's a compound lift. So it's going to work your entire body here. You're going to work your quads, your glutes, your back. Um, so yeah, it's pretty much all over. Um, I'm doing a sumo squat here. So your legs are going to be in a straddle. Toes are pointed out. Once again, you want to push your hips back as far as you can. You're not going to go as low as a squat. Your knees are going to be behind your toes. Make sure the bar is directly um, next to your shins. So it should be really close to your shins. All you want to do is keep your shoulders back, chest up. Okay, make sure you're not rounding that back. Um, and I like to do a mixed grip. So one hand is going to be facing me. The other hand is going to be facing away from me. And all you're going to do is grab that bar here um, and just try to drive that weight in, uh, through your feet and stand on up. Uh, and you can squeeze your glute at the top. Make sure you're not over uh, extending though. And I did that for three sets of 10. Moving on to the next one. I have RDLs here, our, straight, uh, our stiff leg deadlifts with a squat with a kettlebell. So all you're going to do here is make sure that your shoulders are back here chest is up once again you're focusing on pushing your hips back as far as you can make sure your knees are still so you do not want your knees to move at all you're pushing your hips back and then after that you're going to explode that kettlebell up to your chest here and then go down into a squat once again make sure your knees are behind your toes your chest is up shoulders are back for that squat i did the uh rdls to squat 
for three sets of 12, uh, 12 to 10 reps. Um, and I think I did the same for the sumo deadlifts. I, it was either 10 to 12 reps for that one as well. Um, I just really need to focus on my endurance and trying to get through my set without having to take a break in between my reps. The next exercise, we're doing elevated sumo squats here, and you're going to hold a dumbbell in the middle, uh, like in between your legs here. So um, you're just going to step up. Once again, your legs are in a straddle. Your toes are going to go out um, to the corner of the wall here. They should be at a diagonal. Okay. Once again, you're pushing your hips back as far as you can. Um, and then you want to make sure your knees are behind your toes and you're driving that weight evenly in between your feet here. Um, shoulders back, chest up, same form as a regular squat. And I'm trying to focus on squeezing my glute all the way through the entire lift. Okay, so we're squeezing that glute all the way through um, that squat. And um, I did this for three sets of 12 reps. Lastly, the last um, leg exercise here, I am doing hip thrust. So for your hip thrust, you just want to make sure that your shoulder blades are on the bench here. You want to keep that chin tucked in um, in your chest here. Um, you want to make sure that your knees, whenever you lift up your hips, they should be at 90 degrees. Um, and then you're just driving that weight up, squeezing your glute at the top, trying to push your hips as high as you can and squeeze that glute. Um, so yeah, like I said, I do have to take a break in between my reps. Um, I don't know if this is because I'm just getting back into the hang of the gym or what's going on. So yeah, if you need to take a break at any point, it's okay to take a break. Um, allow your body that time it needs and then just go ahead and finish off your reps. I did this for three sets of 12 once again. Um, and then at that last rep, I want you to hold it up at the top for a few seconds, maybe like 10 seconds here at the top to really fill it in your glutes. Okay, so for this next exercise, I'm going to use that same pre-weighted bar that I used for the hip thrust for bent over rows. So this is going to work your back here. Um, it's kind of similar to the RDL stance, so your toes are going to be uh, forward here. Your knees are still, you're just going to push your hips back. You should have a hip hinge here. Um, I'm turning to the side so you can see it from a different angle. Chest is up, shoulders are back here. All you want to do is focus on bringing that bar to like your belly button and um, bringing, keeping those elbows in, squeezing your shoulder blades at the top. And I did this for three sets of 10 to 12 reps once again. Okay, so now I'm going to do some biceps here. Um, just make sure that your chest is up, you're looking forward and your shoulders are back here and you're keeping your core engaged. Um, I have no clue what this bicep exercise is called, but if you know what it is, please comment it down below. Um, so yeah, you just want to keep your elbows in. You're bringing that dumbbell across your body, so keep it nice and close um, to your body here. And uh, hold it at the top for a few seconds and then slowly bringing it back down to really fill it in your biceps here. Um, I did this for about three sets of 10 reps. Um, 10 to 12 reps once again and um, just taking your time controlling that weight the entire time and make sure you're not jerking your body whenever you're doing this to get that weight up. Using those same dumbbells from the last exercise, that bicep exercise, I'm going to do rear delt rows. So this is going to work the back of your shoulders and also your back. Okay, you're back into that stance with your feet forward, your knees still and your hip hinged here like we did for that RDL and also that bent over row. This is working our back as well. All you're gonna do, you're gonna bring your arms out into like a T and you're gonna squeeze your shoulder blades together 
um, controlling that weight. Once again, you want to make sure that you're not jerking your body. And I did this for three sets of 10 to 12 reps. Um, so, yeah. Okay, my last upper body workout, I am doing hammer curls here. Um, this is just going to work your bicep. Um, once again, you want to make sure that your elbows are in, keeping your elbows in. You're going to have your, the palms of your hands facing each other. And you're just going to bring that weight up to like your shoulder here. Once again, controlling that weight as you're going up and then make sure you're going as slow as you can as you're going down back to your starting position here. Um, keeping your shoulders back, chest up, engaging that core and your head forward. Um, yeah, so this is a really good workout, a really good exercise for your arms here. I did this for maybe three sets of 10 to 12 reps. Um, I can't remember exactly how many reps I did. I think it was 10, to be honest. Um, so yeah, this is pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this workout with me. And yeah. So as you guys know, I absolutely hate my stomach. I hate my pudge. And so I really want to work on that. I want to focus on toning my stomach up a little bit more. So I've been wearing a corset every time I work out. Um, and I've been doing some ab workouts and also including some cardio into my workout routine now. I really want to do at least 30 minutes of cardio a day. Um, this day I only did 15 minutes because I was there for like two hours and a half and I was just ready to go and so um, I didn't finish off my cardio um, I like to do 15 minutes before my workout and then 15 minutes afterwards um, split it up just because I feel like 30 minutes straight is just a really long time and I'll be miserable if I do 30 minutes straight so yeah um, and I'm trying to eat less sugar drink less juice and soda and try to drink more water thank you so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed this video please make sure you like share and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one